The Horticultural Department is hosting its annual spring plant sale on campus. Friday will be the last opportunity for the public to choose from more than 2,500 plants for sale. Uh, the plant sale has been going on for over 20 years. It's a spring plant sale. Um, what the what the department uses the plant sale for is to generate funds to run the department. We have about three and a half to five acres of land that has to be cared for here. We have eight greenhouses, 10,000 square feet of uh, greenhouse space. So um, we use that revenue from the plant sale to keep the department running, keep new equipment, um, fix things that are broken. We also donate about $5,000 a year into our scholarship fund for student scholarships in the horticulture department, so um, it kind of goes back towards the students and their projects. Volunteers like George Sims, who are passionate about plants, make this sale possible every year. What inspires me the most about plants is their potential, not only to um, make your house look gorgeous, but uh, um, also the fact that a lot of them produce food. Um, we spend money to get food here, so um, the more that we can make right here on at, our, at your house, the better off you are, it lowers your food cost, you can trade it with your neighbors, um, all, all those things take gas to get here, and we kind of take that off the bill if we produce it ourselves. Spring plant sale focus, focuses mostly on um, color, vegetables, um, um, we have hanging baskets, um, herbs, um, 31 kinds of tomatoes that we grow, um, heirloom tomatoes, things we try to focus on things that aren't commonly seen in the nurseries and that kind of thing. The department puts out great crops, um, both in the spring and in the winter. We have the best poinsettia crop in the country, I think. And the spring plant sale is very popular with gardeners, obviously. We have a lot of different varieties that you can't get at the local nursery. And people want to support the department, so they come back year after year.